All right, time for that uh, new update for H3VR. This week we've got some, well, we've got actually one thing. Oh, actually two things. But uh, yeah, so it's April Fool's. Uh, it was a little bit delayed because uh, of some stuff in real life that Anton had to deal with, but we finally got it. And uh, it's a potato. <laughs> no, it's the uh, potato launcher. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. You know? Just grab this end cap here, and... Oh, look at this. This is not a... Uh, this is hairspray. Lemon scented. Ooh. I want to smell like lemons. Totally stiff. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I want to read this in the back. Totally stiff for that, like, totally rad look. The choice of discerning wieners everywhere. Extra super stiff formula now available in mayonnaise and lemon scents. Provides great lift that lasts and lasts. Highly... Highly flammable? Okay. No stickiness. Only the best CFCs. All right. So, yeah, it's hairspray. And uh, if you know anything about hairspray, it is very flammable. You know? But, yeah. All right. Um, oh, cool. We had a little spark in there for the uh, igniter. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Uh, let me grab this. Oops. Put it in the slot. Oh, we can spawn multiple. Okay. All right. Put that back. Multiple. Multiple caps. Okay. That is pretty cool. All right. So, uh, let's trick out our potato cannon. Let me put a, uh, uh, grenade launcher underneath. Oh, I'm not going to use a grenade. No, forget that. <laughs> Get over there. There we go. Uh, put that on my shoulder. Okay. Uh, let's see. What kind of attachments can we add to this bad boy? You know what? Let's go with a bayonet. Hmm. Should I get the grill fork? Oh, I wonder if that'll work. Well, we'll see. Oh, I wait, hold on, hold on. Since you can add... Oh, that's, uh, don't ignore that. That's just... Uh, what I was trying to do when, uh, when there was no update was, uh, what I was, uh, trying to get all the customizable pistols. And I think I'm on the last page. That's so, that's pretty cool. When I move around, you can hear the ball bearing inside of the uh, spray can, uh, the hairspray can, moving around. Okay, just stay there right now. But like I said, I was trying to customize all the guns. Uh, I got to the last page. I need to finish that. And I also, um, also made the Half-Life SMG. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, whatever. That's uh, not the focus of this video. I was trying to go to the muzzle devices. Let's see if I can... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, let's take that off. What about a barrel extender? Let's try to make this barrel a bit longer. Ooh! Ooh, nice. And, of course, suppressors work, too. Oh, uh, what about, uh, the shroud? Oh. Oh, yes. You can actually use it as a foregrip as well, so. Oh, nope. Let me grab that and take that off. Oh, something in my eye. Okay. In my real life eye, not in the game. I have to scratch my eye. My eyeball. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, the Uzi suppressor, obviously. The suppressors work. So, you want a silent takedown. But, okay. Uh, let me try to see... I don't know about the bayonet. Maybe we can go with the... Um, 
little muzzle break there. And uh, let's do a laser sight for that pinpoint accuracy. Oh yeah, there we go. And should I do a scope? I think I can do a scope, actually. Let's go with the tactical scope. That's going to look weird, but uh, sure, why not? Oh, you know what? A rail, adap uh, rail adapter in here. There we go. Be kind of weird. But at the same time, we can also, since this is a tactical scope, we can also grab ourselves a red dot compact. Put it on the side like this. Uh, you know what? I'll put it on the other side. How about that? It's gonna be a little weird, but uh... <laughs> backup iron sights? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. Let's put this on top, and we'll do some backup iron sights on the side. Oh, wait, that's backwards. Oh, man. Like this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. Tricked it out. I need a round for this. Uh, underbarrel. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Where, uh, the utility. There we go. Spawn this. Okay, 40 millimeter. There we go. Let's go with, um, Freedom Party. Because this is April Fool's. Well, it was April Fool's. Supposed to be April Fool's. Freedom Party Grenade. Happy birthday, America. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, it's April Fool's. Okay. <laughs> it's not 4th of July yet. I'm sorry. I got, I got those confused. Okay. All right. So let's actually load this thing up. Oh, no. I got the muzzle brake on there. How am I going to... Oh, no. Oh, this is a terrible thing. Get rid of that. I guess we can uh, forego the muzzle brake. How does that work with suppressors, though? Especially if you get something huge like this. You know what? I need to get... Oh, and then you quickly close this thing. And then you... Boom. Oh no, come back here. Oh no. All right, let me see how this works with the uh, suppressor on there. I don't think you can do it with a suppressor. Nope. Oh, there we go. You just have to force it through. Well, I'm not going to use a suppressor then. One already loaded. <laughs> Happy birthday, America. Not realizing that I'm talking about April Fools. Whoa, what is that? Something is, uh... Okay, uh, put a potato in there. Oh, 
Ooh, got him in the body. Can we put a potato in the grenade launcher? No, you can't. Ooh, headshot. And there you go. There's your potato gun. You can trick it out as much as you want. You got two rails there. Expand that. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Of course, oh. you can also do stuff with the uh, totally stiff hairspray. Remember, all you need are four puffs. Front, back, side to side. That's how you get the uh, nice hair. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Where is the lighter? I need a lighter for this. Oops, so lighter. Oops. Okay. Hopefully this thing doesn't run out, but I think it might. Oh, you know what? It'd be nice if you had two of them. Gotta cook them wieners, man. Gotta make sure they're charred properly. And you gotta look good while doing it too. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually want to try something before uh, uh, I forget. Let's uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me uh, make sure. Oh no. Since this is flammable. What happens if you shoot it? Where's the magazine for this? I don't know where the magazine is. I have to spawn something else. Alright, you know what? Let's spawn that uh, Half-Life SMG. I use the Mac 10 shroud and then some rail adapter, uh, uh, rail covers to make that signature, you know, Half-Life look. I think it was like this, right? No, he, he Freeman's right-handed, right? So it's like this. Something like that, right? Oh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so. That. All right. So let's see if this thing is... Ooh, it is. Oh, wait, hold on. This is uh, armor-piercing incendiary. Not good, not good. I need a uh, regular... Regular... Uh, where is it? 9mm? 9x19? Oh, no, that's macro. Uh, there we go. Just regular full metal jacket. Okay, no. Okay, that's good. Oh, it is flammable. That's nice. It's a good firebomb. You can totally, like... Totally. You can... You can throw those. Get some unsuspe uh, unsuspecting sosigs nearby. Close enough. Get over there. There we go. Ah, oh, you're on fire. Dang it. Oh, 
Oh, get over here. Wait, hold on. I need I need more distance. Let's see if I can. Uh, how far can I go? Uh, let's go over here. <clears throat> need to believe in the bullets. <laughs> yeah, <come on. laughs> that is cool. Oh, his head exploded. Oh wait, can I put this on their head? Hold on. I'm gonna have to balance this. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move a muscle. How far can I go? Can I go farther? All right, here we go. Do a little. Hold on, just a second. It was my Father's Day present. Get out of my way. Believe, believe in yourself. Oops. Believe in yourself. Oh, I missed. Believe in yourself. Got it. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Hold on. I just thought of something. Oh, no. Come back here. No. Sit flat on the head, please. We're so close. No. Oh, come on. I can do this. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Just do that. Okay, sit there. It's going to be okay. All right, let's see if I can get a nice... Missed. <laughs> Got him. But yeah, all right. So these are all flammable. Ah, oh, I'm on fire. All right. So the final thing uh, is this. This thing. It's the butt bag. Yes, Anton's. Least favorite meme. But, you know, he loves his community. So, he decided that uh, they deserve something for all their trouble. And, uh, yeah, if you didn't know, there was a bag in one of Anton's videos. And people thought it said butt, but it actually said fruit. Which, uh, I don't I didn't understand the meme. I didn't really care much for it. But, hey, if you love memes, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, I like memes too, but I didn't really care for the butt bag meme that much. But, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, if you if you like uh, bags... Oh, there's... Yeah, okay. Well, there's spheres, interaction, spheres inside, and stuff on the outside too. But you can also use it as, like, a traditional bag. You know, I want to uh, get your panic buying in, you know, you want to buy as many uh, freedom rounds as possible. You know, stick them in there. Maybe some magazines. You know, why not a whole MP5? There we go. Let's stick that baby in there. You just take the butt bag with you. You know, you go to the go to the park or something. You know, pull out your gun. Oh god, it's glitching out. No.
get one shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that worked pretty nicely. Actually, hey, that's actually a pretty good idea. You fill it with stuff that you don't want, like explosives or... Let's just do this again. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, you can use this for good times. Oh, no, my computer. It's going nuts. And then... Oh, do I have a... Oh, here we go. We got some extra hairspray here. Grab this. Uh, you mean, you know, you can always make a... We just need it. We just need the hairspray to peek out of the butt bag. There we go. Let's make sure we got a round in here. Let's do single fire, single shot. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, hold on. Too close. Oh, goodness. I forgot that these uh, grenade rounds are flammable. Did I not put a laser on this thing? Oh, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> what do we got? Turnation. All right. Turnation. Well, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the update for today. Pretty cool stuff. You get the you get the cool butt bag. You got the uh, potato cannon. Let me reload the scene here so everything's not as messy. All right. So you got the uh, cool butt bag. It's actually it's all right. You know, it's, it's a meme. It's it's funny. Uh, you get the uh, potato cannon. Little potato here. I didn't really try much things with a potato, but uh, that's pretty cool. And oh, the, the hairspray, which is not just the uh, fuel source, but it can also be a flamethrower. And an, a throwable explosive. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's April Fool's. It would have been uh, pretty nice for it to come out on April 1st, but, you know, stuff happened. You know, what with the whole uh, virus thing uh, over in the United States. I guess Anton had to do some things there. But that's still pretty cool. You know, we got, we got something. He gave us something. The butt bag. Oh, my goodness. I didn't, I, look, I don't, oh, there's a spot on the bottom. I don't really have a problem with the meme itself. I was kind of like, the problem for me was like, like the community kind of ran it to the ground. And, uh, you know, that's how it works sometimes. Sometimes a fan base can get a little uh, excited over things. And, you know, that's a good thing. There's a butt bag. <laughs> Oh, where's my, where's my computer? I gotta stop this thing. I got too much on my plate today. Did uh, Half Life Alex this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some Resident Evil Three. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get to work. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.